feel real. I'm speechless. This, this is amazing. I think when you win the Stanley Cup, you should celebrate it. Tampa Bay, this Stanley Cup is for you. It was just a different time. It wasn't like guys were all home during the summer and there were no travel restrictions. Tampa, let's make some noise for the boys. I think it should be embraced. I think it should be celebrated. You know, it's going to be with you for life and it's a really exciting time. This is the best hockey town ever! But in saying that, we have a season ahead of us. I think we were all known at some point this was going to happen. It's not like the season snuck up on us. And with this veteran group what you have and, and a coaching staff that's been around a little bit, we know what's ahead of us and, and the demands of trying to repeat. It's almost like COVID Camp 2.0. Uh, we got our first taste of it, um, you know, back in July, and it really set us up for for what we have going on now. And I think I think one of the benefits about our team and, and having so many regulars from last year back, the short camp doesn't really hurt us. Conditioning, timing, reps, of course, but everybody's going to go through that. The focus from the get go for the coaches and management was to make sure that the players that are going to be in our opening night uh, lineup against Chicago are ready to help us win a hockey game that night. So right away we went into more tactical uh, aspects. Uh, practice was set up and, and geared towards getting our, our systems in place and uh, making everyone is, you know, familiar with what's expected of them, working on line chemistry and deep pair chemistry. Well, you can't replace uh, a player like Kucherov. That, that's a big blow to any team. Uh, he's arguably the, the most skilled player in the world. His puck skills are second to none, I think. You know, you end up losing Kucherov, who, you know, arguably is one of the best power play guys in the whole NHL, but you gain Stammer, who's a great shooter. Shoot, An absolute bullet from Stamkos! I feel the best I felt in, in a long time. Obviously that surgery after the year uh, really helped me get to a place where I'm feeling comfortable on the ice again. Just excited to get out there and, and play the sport that, that I love. But even though uh, Nikita won't be in the lineup during the regular season. We still have, you know, Braden Points and Steven Stamkos and Palat and Killorn and Gord and Johnson and Henry and Sergeyev. I can go on and on and on. Uh, ultimately, what matters is, is when I look at my roster, how good a roster is it? And I like the roster we have. Uh, we still have Victor Hedman, who's arguably the best defenseman in the world, and Vasilevsky, who's arguably the best goaltender in the world. Uh, I certainly believe they are. So I have a lot of reason uh, to, to believe that we're going to be a, a top team again. I think guys are excited. That The atmosphere was great in camp. Um, the guys were uh, all excited to see each other and get back out there again. So it's this team has kind of lived off that camaraderie for, for years now. and. As soon as we get back together, the excitement uh, is still there. So we're we're looking forward to it. Two twigs this year. It's coming off the stick nice, eh? Keep going first. Huh? You're faster. Hi. There you go. Gordo! Let's go, Patty. Win that battle, son. Go, Patty. Go, Patty. Oh, my big rig. Beat an icing. Big rig. Whoa. Hey. Oh, big oh, rig. My goal is eight goals, all right? Eight goals. You know, Pat Maroon does a good job keeping us hungry when he tells us he's the only guy who has two cups in the room and we only have one. So for us, we're all trying to get that next one. It's just a different challenge. I mean, you don't ever want to be happy with what you've done. You have to look at the new challenge. It's going to be more difficult this year. Everyone knows we want the Stanley Cup. So in that sense, we're going to have a target on our back. But I think that's also going to help us elevate our game uh, and get it to where it needs to be. We know what we accomplished in 2020. Now let's conquer. Uh, something 2021. I think we still have a very, very special group in this locker room. I still think we have a really, really good chance of, uh, you know, going back to back here. You tasted it once, you know, you don't want to let it slip away. You want to keep that cup here in Tampa and we're going to do whatever it takes. 
the way this, the schedule is set up and the format is set up, every game is a four point game this year. Uh, so every point is crucial and we need to bank points from the get go and we can't afford to have any prolonged losing streak. I think the format's going to be great. I think a lot of people are super excited. Uh, the standards are going to be changing a lot throughout the year and uh, all these games are going to matter. You know, playing uh, the same team quite a few times I think can really bring out some animosity and kind of rivalries throughout the, the regular season. And I think for this group that, you know, we were favored to win that cup for a long time to finally kind of get over that hurdle. Um, we knew exactly what it took. It wasn't necessarily the, the flashy, high-scoring lightning of the past. It was the group that stuck with the program, that played really well defensively, and then scored the big goals when we needed to. So I think we found that recipe, and now it's about maintaining that and not straying from that just because it's back to the regular season. We, we have to continue that and continue to build on that if, if we want a chance to, to repeat. A major announcement came down this morning from Amelie Arena saying that they will not have fans for the foreseeable future, which includes both the Lightning and the Raptors games. Yeah, I mean, you're disappointed, but at the same time, you got to understand what's going on. I mean, we went through that whole run without, you know, family and friends and fans there. And that was that was tough to not be able to, to really embrace that moment with them and share that moment with them. It's, it's tough because you want to obviously share you know, winning the Stanley Cup with your fan base and give back to them that have supported us so so well over the years. You know, we're trying to do our best uh, while they're not here and, you know, we'll tell them when they come back, we'll, we'll be in the middle of it, hopefully, and, you know, play our best hockey at that time. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to getting fans back in. We're confident we'll be able to have fans back in the building soon. And, and when we do, um, you know, we'll, we'll certainly be excited for that atmosphere and, um, and looking forward to it. It'll be uh, something we hope isn't forever, and we know it's not going to be forever, but uh, when the time is right, the fans will come back roaring and uh, we'll play even harder and, and hopefully better in front of them too. Obviously, it's going to be an odd home opener for everybody, for you, for all of us, but especially for the team, I'm sure, not having fans in there. I know you tweeted it and John Cooper said it this morning, it'll be bittersweet, so it's tough not to be able to share that on this night for the fans, because that's really what opening night is. It's going to be different, but at least we have hockey back and there's a lot to look forward to in uh, tonight's matchup. I like this matchup. It's fun to watch and you know great great emotion um, just given some of the playoff history between these two teams when they face each other. So Lightning are set to embark on a new challenge this season and that's being the hunted rather than the hunter for so many years. They were trying to get over that hump. Well they got over the hump. They are now going to be the team that other teams are targeting. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're ready, you're ready. Where are you heart? Where is heart? They know their process, they learned it front to back in the bubble for a long time. I do think the defending champs kind of have their number right now. All right, let's listen in for Paul Porter's intro here and then Rick Peckham emceeing tonight's ceremony. As the Tampa Bay Lightning take the ice to begin their 2021 season, they carry an honor they've not owned in 16 years, that of Stanley Cup champions. And at a time where uncertainty and anxiety weighs upon the world, on the hockey landscape, the Lightning's run of destiny last fall was a shining light. No, dude. So for the players and staff, for their families, and for our great fans, we forever immortalize the 2020 Stanley Cup champion, Tampa Bay Lightning. It looks, once it gets up there, it doesn't look as big. Definitely as big as the So we've decided to wait to raise our 2020 banner to the rafters until after our fans are back inside of our house. But we 
feel we owe it to them to reveal it now. We keep it in place until we can raise it high when we gather safely again. We have to turn the page on last year. It's harder to do than it is to say, but um, we have to take the season as a new challenge and start off the right way. It's such a shortened season. Every point is so important. Come on, baby, come on now. You satisfied? You didn't do it again, dog. Have a start here, have a start. Stan goes pressured by Carpenter, slips to Hedman, set a point. Shoot, save made, rebound, score! Oh, Hold on! Come on, there we go, there we go. Tampa Bay, off and running. Wow, what a play, power. Great job, Bob. Suter now, Joseph leads it back. It's hammered by Florin, stopped by Subban. Off the post, they score! Yeah. Matthew Joseph! After Joseph put it off Subban and then off the post, it's 2 nothing Lightning. Ah, uh, will wind it back. Out in front, there's a chance oh, for a save! Wow. Vasilevsky on Andrew Shaw. Outstanding stop. Big shift, big shift, get back. Sorelli went to the offensive zone face up from Walmart. Malorn at the center point, right circle Chernak. Score! That's how we play, baby. That's how you play, play boys. <laughs> it might be Sorelli that gets the goal. He's first in line for the celebration. Great tip, great tip. Center point head been landing in a power play here in the second. Right circle to point. Cross a step goes, shoots left circle, score! What a passing sequence. Stamp goes a bomb from the left circle, and it's 4 0 Lightning. Yeah, great job, Matt. It's just easier for me to, yeah, to curl it there. Back from Mikhail Sergachev, left point. One point, Stamp goes. Steven Stamp goes to the center point. Now it's room right circle. A feed to the slot. Score! Braden Point! Braden Point gets on the score sheet in terms of goals. He also has an assist tonight, and it's 5-0. There's the horn. This one's over. The Lightning beat the Blackhawks 5-1 and open the season with a victory. Yeah, it was it was really nice. Um, like you said, I would have loved to have uh, the fans back, but we'll save that for another time. But anytime you get on the ice and the games start counting, um, you know, the adrenaline kicks in, and I thought for the most part, uh, with a shortened camp and no exhibition games, I thought we executed pretty well. Our goal was to come in and, and play well and get two points. We talked about how critical starting this year on time was, and, and that was a good start. And unfortunately, just like that, the Tampa Bay Lightning's 2021 season comes to a halt with the official postponement of their Stanley Cup Finals rematch against Dallas. I think, in a way, it's a little bit too long of a break, too much practice. I, I think if you were to ask us, we'd like to be playing some games and figuring stuff out that way. But, um, you know, I think uh, in the course of this season, it's going to kind of be a little bit like this and uh, everyone's going to have to adjust on the fly here. So, um, you know, we're going to have to have some good practices here, uh, get in some good habits, learn from our mistakes in the last two games and work from there. The one unknown is if games get postponed and get pushed off or they insert them to create back-to-back. -back. So that's where I think you have to be aware and be on top of things, be prepared for, hey, if this happens next week, what are we gonna do? I think the priority is to have a great season, but also try to stay as safe as possible. And the protocols have, have been great so far. And, and I think everyone's comfortable and excited to get this things going. A unique opportunity here that we're uh, trying to defend our title, but uh, at the same time, you know, it's uh, you know not going to come uh, easy, and it's not going to come in the same fashion. There's going to be ups and downs, and I think uh, I'm just excited for the guys to get rolling and, and see where this journey takes us.